Introduction Usually data can be presented in the form of table. Graphs are visual representation of data. In this chapter, let us study histogram and line graph. New channels and magazines use graphs to give a better understanding of the article. Graphs provide a catchy and simple way. Here is a pie chart that clearly compares the sales of a magazine in various countries in the world. Thus the graphs play a very important role in our lives. Objectives At the end of this lesson you'll be able to draw bar graphs, represent the given data in the form of a pie graph, draw histogram, draw line graph, locate a point on the graph, Solve some application problems using graphs. Graphical representation. Bar graph. It is a pictorial representation of the numerical data by a number of bars, rectangles of uniform width erected horizontally or vertically with equal spacing between them. The bar graph shows Divya's performance in the quarterly, half yearly and annual examinations. It helps us to compare whole year's performance. From the above graph, we infer that Divya's total marks has been increasing, which shows progress in her studies. Bar graph can also have double bars. This graph gives a comparative account of sales of various crackers over a two-day period. From the above graphs, first graph shows the comparison of three examination of a student. Second graph shows that four variety of crackers sales in two days. Pie graph or a circle graph. Pie graph is used to compare parts of a whole. The circle represents the whole is a pie graph. In the month of December 2008, Ramu spends his monthly salary amounting to rupees 7200 on different items. Histogram A histogram is a graphical representation of a frequency distribution in the form of rectangles with class intervals as bases and heights proportional to corresponding frequencies such that there is no gap between any two successive rectangles. The following table gives the marks scored by 100 students in an entrance examination. A line graph a line graph displays data that changes continuously over periods of time. The above table shows the temperature of Chennai city, taken every four hours for a day. We call this as time temperature graph. The horizontal line x-axis shows the timings at which the temperatures were recorded. The vertical line y-axis denotes the temperature. The temperature of every four hours is recorded and plotted as points as shown in the graph. These points are connected by line segments. The result is line graph. From the graph, in between 10 a.m. and 2 p.m., we can find that the temperature was increased by 2 degrees Celsius. This is the location time graph for a cyclist. While plotting the graph, the short movements of time where the cyclist changed his speed when neglected. From the graph, we can determine the location of the cyclist at a given movement. The type of motion with which he was traveling along particular segments is speed, the distance he covered, and even his direction of movement. So from segment AB, we can discover that the cyclist covered the distance of 100 meters in 20 seconds moving at a constant speed of 5 meter per second. Segment BC indicates that the cyclist stopped after having traveled a distance of 100 meters. From segment CD, we can see that the cyclist went on to move with a greater speed. In 20 seconds, he covered a distance of 200 meters, which means that he was traveling with a speed of 10 meter per second. Segment D shows the cyclist stopped for 20 seconds. Then from segment EF, we can discover 
that the cyclist turned back and after 20 seconds reached the location which he started his journey. He was moving with a constant speed of 15 meter per second. Coordinates Locate the seat in your class. For this you need to know two numbers. That is the row number and the column number. For example, 3, 2 which is 3 units from the left edge and 2 units from bottom edge is plotted on a graph sheet. In a graph sheet we draw x and y axes conveniently and then fix the required point. 3 is called x coordinate of the point. 2 is the y coordinate of the point. We say that the coordinates of the point are 3, 2. Always the first number indicates x coordinate and the second number indicates y coordinate. Example. Plot the point 4, 5 on a graph sheet. Is it same as the point 5, 4? Solution. Locate x, y axes. Start at O, 0, 0. Move 4 units to the right. Then move 5 units up. We reach the point 4, 5. From the graph the points 4, 5 and 5, 4 are different points. Line graph. A graph obtained by joining the plotted points in a line. Such graphs are called linear graph. Application problems. In everyday life we heard about the fact that global rise in fuel prices leads to petrol price hike. If less petrol is consumed, then the bill amount will be less. This means that one quantity affects the another. Petrol bill depends upon the quantity of petrol consumed. We say that the quantity of petrol is an independent variable and the amount of petrol bill is the dependent variable. The relation between such variables can be shown through graph. Example, quantity and cost. The following table gives the quantity of rice and its cost. Plot a graph to show the data. 1. Mark the number of kgs of rice in x-axis horizontal axis with 1 unit is equal to 5 kgs. 2. Mark the cost of rice in y-axis vertical axis with 1 unit is equal to rupees 100. 3. Plot the points 10, 300, 15, 450, 20, 600, 25, 750. 4. Join the points. The graph passed through the origin. Suppose we want to know the price of 17 kgs of rice. Locate 17 on horizontal axis, then follow the vertical line through 17 till you meet the graph at P. From P you take a horizontal line to meet the vertical axis at 475. This meeting 17, 475 point provides the answer. This is a graph of situation in which two quantities are in direct variation. The graph will always be linear. Example, principal and simple interest. A bank gives 11% simple interest on deposits by senior citizens. Draw a graph to illustrate the relation between the sum deposited and simple interest earned. Find from your graph. 1. The annual interest obtained for an investment of rupees 500. 2. The investment one has to make to get an annual simple interest of rupees 88. Solution. A. Mark the deposit in rupees. On x-axis, horizontal axis with 1 unit is equal to rupees 100. B. Mark annual simple interest in rupees. On y-axis, vertical axis with 1 unit is equal to rupees 10C. Plot the points 555, 666, 777, 888, 999, 1110. D. Join the points. Usually data can be presented in the form of table. Graphs are visual representation of data. In this chapter, let us study AB. We get a graph that is linear. 1. 
for rupees 500 on x axis we get interest to be rupees 55 on y axis 2 for rupees 88 on y axis we get the deposited amount rupees 800 on x axis example time and distance Akshay can ride a car constantly at a speed of 40 kilometers per hour draw time distance graph for this situation use it to find 1 time taken by Akshay to cover 160 kilometers 2 the distance covered by Akshay in two and a half hours we get the table of values scale X axis one units is equal to one hour Y axis one unit is equal to 40 kilometers a mark time on horizontal axis B mark distance on vertical axis C plot the points 140 280 3 120 4 160 5 200 D join the points we get a linear graph 1 in vertical axis 160 kilometers corresponds to 4 hours in horizontal axis 2 in horizontal axis two and a half has correspondence to 100 kilometers in vertical axis therefore Akshay covers 160 kilometers in four hours and in two and a half hours he is able to cover a distance of 100 kilometers summary let us summarize what we have learned a pictorial representation of data is a graph a bar graph is used to compare among categories a pie graph is used to compare parts of a whole a histogram is a bar graph that shows data in intervals a line graph displays data that changes continuously over periods of time a graph obtained by joining the plotted points in a line we need X coordinate Y coordinate for fixing a point on the graph we can show direct variation through line graph